First, I think uh, I, I must say that uh, Herceptin treatment for HER2 positive patients usually is not so much of a monotherapy, that means on the standard alone. Usually it's in combination with other chemotherapy drugs for breast cancer. So in other words, even in a HER2 negative patient, where you don't need Herceptin treatment, you will still require some chemotherapy to overcome breast cancer, and therefore you will still have to come for recurrent visits, treatment, monitoring and testing by the managing oncologist. But we know that some of these can create a lot more anxiety, maybe a few extra visits that will be required for monitoring of side effects. And KTPH and the managing oncologists and doctors will take a compassionate approach to reassure, to also help these patients to overcome their disease uh, and their anxieties by keeping close communication with them through a more dedicated care team, especially those who are affected by the change in result status. But I must also say that in this situation, where the test is more, uh, issue is one more of a false positive, it does mean that some patients would have perhaps over-treatment. But I think it's probably a preferred state than to have under-treatment, especially when you have cancer. In this situation, HER2 testing has shown that some of them should have been classified as HER2 negative, meaning that actually the patient do have a better prognosis compared to those who are HER2 positive. So I think on the overall thing, it is not necessarily a bad thing for the patients to have actually reclassified as HER2 negative on testing. Uh, KTPH has informed that any cause and, and as well as uh, investigations that are done as a result of uh, HER2 treatment, HER Herceptin treatment, will be borne by the hospital and refunds will be given. So I think that will go in some way to relieve some of the financial pressure and stresses that the patient has undergone.